And we continue our coverage of the controversial congestion pricing plan. Joining us now to talk about the impact is Susan Lee, president of New Yorkers Against Congestion Pricing Tax. First, thanks for being with us. We appreciate your reaction to the passing of this law, this plan yesterday. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Um, you know, the reaction is we're not surprised. We knew that they would pass um, the congestion pricing plan. It's a they're rubber stamping um, the plan. We are going to continue to fight this. We have um, our legal papers. We are filing additional legal papers. And the hearing will begin. Oral arguments will begin in mid-May. What is your biggest concern with the passing of this? You know, it has always been we wanted the um, the government to do an environmental impact study, which is a more robust, thorough study than the rubber stamping of the environmental assessment plan. And so we always felt like there were equity issues, um, there were um, economic loss issues that were not looked into, and also the environment, even the EPA themselves came up with uh, a plan that um, a study that said that there will be an additional 700 trucks using the Cross Bronx Expressway should congestion pricing be implemented. That is why they gave out $130 million in mitigation. However, they didn't study the plan in the Lower East Side. The FDR drive will be exempt from this tax. So people that are tow shopping, instead of driving through, let's say, First Avenue, um, they will end up using the FDR drive, which will continue to pollute the area. Now, the area in the Lower East Side is an environmental justice area where there is high asthma rate, and the pollution will add on to that. So, New York City Controller Brad Lander released a statement saying, quote, congestion pricing will ease traffic, cut carbon emissions, and provide our beleaguered transit system with the resources it needs to modernize signals, boost accessibility, and serve more riders. Your response to that? You know, my response is that, to that is pollution knows no boundaries. It's not going to stop at below 60th Street. Congestion is going to be congestion. Pollution is going to be pollution. I mean, one of the things that you look at, and I think it's, it's really interesting, is me, let's say, as a resident of Tribeca, and I want to go to Memorial Sloan Kettering, if I were to use an Uber, I am taxed at $2.50 for using the Uber plus the cost of the ride. But if I were to drive myself, I have to pay $15 tax. A car on the road is a car on the road. It's not going to you know, remove cars from the road. I'm going to take an Uber or I'm going to drive myself. So what begs the question is Uber and for hire vehicles will continue to circle around the congestion pricing zone and it's going to create pollution. It's going to create congestion. It's just I think it's an attack on private car owners. What is the next step for your organization? So we are, um, right now, we have to file um, various papers, um, and our next oral, our, our argument is in May, May 17th. All right, Susan Lee, president of New Yorkers Against Congestion Pricing Tax, thank you. Thank you and so we, much. Thanks, Susan. We'll have much more live coverage throughout the morning on CBS News New York. There are two sides to the story, of course. So coming up at 8 o'clock, I'm going to talk live with the Manhattan Borough President, Mark Levin, who is a big proponent of the plan. He gives his reaction to the plan's passing and how he plans to address concerns from residents and business owners.